thank you all for being here. And what I'm going to do is a guided meditation. And it's going to connect you with your animal friend, whoever that may be. It could be one that you have now or it could be one that you have had in the past. And we're going to take a little journey. We're going to look at 2015 and go into 2016. So I'm going to start with... Um, I'm asking for to be a bubble of space here around us, surrounding us, with your angels and with your animal companions who love you and are here for you. And I'm going to ring this bell as a way of recognizing them here for you, with us. settle in next to you. Feel them sit, stand, hover, whatever the case may be, and let you know that they're here to walk with you on this meditation. I want you to feel comfortable in your seat. Feel your feet. Feel them tingle. Feel them settle. Feel your legs settle. Everything rested and relaxed. Feel your seat in your chair. Feel it comfortable. Feel it soothing you. Your back is held and protected. Now, in your, let's say that space of imagination, to imagine that you're now sitting in a whatever favorite chair you have. Feel your seat in that favorite chair. It could be your favorite cushion, sofa. Feel how comfortable that is. And I want you to look and see that there are two doors in front of you. One of them says 2015, and the other says 2016. And I want you to approach the door that says 2015, and open that door. And just peer through that doorway. You can have your animal help you with that too. They may notice something you do not. I want you to look at the way the past year has been. The way you either succeeded or the way you think you have failed. The ups and the downs and just the weird stuff that happens in life. And just look at those things in recognition, recognizing that they all served a purpose, Yay. they all had value, they all 
or a gift in some form or fashion. And in some of those things that happened, whether they be something that we might construe as bad, or even if it's good, just looking at it with an observation, just as it just as something that happened. And the idea that now you're at this doorway of looking back, the idea comes across that you would take that experience, take that feeling, good, bad, or otherwise, and have that be brought forth to you in this doorway. And I want you to also take in, uh, in a way to, as the observer, and know that also in all of those things that happened, that there is judgment. Sometimes we are the worst judges on ourselves. So I want you to also bring forth the idea of the one who judges, the one who is sad, the one who feels they didn't accomplish what they wanted to, the one who had losses whether they be financial or automotive or creative or even family losses. Bring that part of you here. Bring them forth to this doorway of 2015. And taking that energy of all of it, because it's all a gift and it's all a part of your precious journey in life. Hold it in your hands and shower it. I want you to give it an actual cleansing and shower of love. Good, bad, or otherwise, it's all a beautiful part of you and your experience and your journey. All of the things that we have judged love the one who judges. All of the ones who had anger and distrust. Love the one who distrusts. Love the one who has gotten mad. We may have done things we regret. Love the one who has regrets. And I would have you also look at your animal friend because they are here. They've been with you through this journey and see the expression that they may have for you, or they may give you a word of inspiration or an explanation of what might have happened in that journey of 2015. And take a deep breath and breathe all of this in. And imagine all of the ways that they have accompanied you throughout your journey, supporting you, loving you, recognizing you for being just human, and feel the unconditional love that they offer. the idea that they are one of the, gosh, most important things. They witness for you. They offer you unconditional love. And feel that from them. You know that, but I want you to feel it from them. Feel it as in Wherever it comes in, whether it comes in through your crown, or whether it comes in through your heart or your belly, they offer vibration, they offer support and care for you. And allow them to 
just show you something that would be a way for you to understand them better. Know that some of the things that they do are to create change for us, to help elicit change so that we may look beyond our mm, dramas or our stuckness where we can recognize our divine nature because that's what they love to do and there's things that they can do to trigger us and know that that behavior or even crossing over or even maybe actually finding a new home that they're no longer with us. Know that all of that is a very important part of our awareness. That we are able to take in, in a different way, the gifts that they offer us. And giving those parts of you calling all those parts of you to you, the one who was sad, the one who was upset, the one who worried, the one who's happy, the one who's courageous and brave, the one who's vulnerable, the one who's disappointed. Our animals know just how to help us in whatever way that is. Whether it's from an out and out support or an out and out triggering. They are asking us to recognize our own beautiful selves and the gifts that we have. And recognizing that. So feeling all of these aspects of you, drawing them forth from the past year, where we got tangled and entangled in other people's dramas, other people's stuff, family stuff, work stuff, bring those parts back to you, to the comfort and the safety of standing in this beautiful space, looking back with your animal companion. bringing them back in and again giving them this shower of love. This love that is from source. Bringing it, enveloping all of you, all aspects of you. They're valuable, they're beautiful, they're loving. Love them as you would your animal companion. And now you can take them into your heart and love them some more. Bring them closer in and say, I remember you. You're the one who didn't feel loved. You're the one who didn't feel worthy. You're the one who was afraid. And feel that animal friend of yours. Feel them in this space, nodding their head, putting their paw on your leg, feeling their, um, the scent of them, the feel of them, hearing them, bringing them even closer to you in a loving, loving place, that they are all part of this transformation of you. When we got triggered, when we got pushed, when we felt pressured, when we felt overwhelmed. All of those are parts of us that are just needing love and recognition for what they do for us. They bring us into wisdom. They bring us into acknowledgement and moving forward for valuable lessons. <coughs>
bringing them into your heart because they are a part of you and giving them more love than they've ever gotten before because we are now recognizing them. Your animal friend is doing it as well, bringing you into this place of love. I feel this agreement, this big agreement, surrounding us, nodding their heads, vibrating in the energy of, yes, that's why you're here. That's why we love you. We want you to know you as who you really are. And we're here to help. And just breathe that in and breathe that out. And feeling the energy of them holding this space, those beloved ones. You may feel them now. I felt, I don't know if this was mine or someone else's, but I feel somebody in my lap. Just loving energy. It's just loving you. Supporting you. Knowing that you're connected. That they are your, I don't even know how to say it, they are your love connection to source. And when you have any question ever, you can run it by them because the answer is going to be through love. To know that they are the ones that can give you the best advice ever. Even if it's not just perfectly clear, just to imagine if they were sitting, let's say you had your comfy chair and they had their comfy chair, where you're looking at them going, you know, I'm just having a tough day. What would you say would help me? What would you say for, for this year, this new year we're in now? What would help you, help me to grow? What will help me to be bigger and better or healthier? And listen now, because we're going to step in. We're here in 2016. We're stepping in through that door now. Feel how you step into the energy of 2016. Is it solid? Is it tentative? Is it afraid? Or is it just, <coughs> come hell or high water, here I go. That's whatever it is you're being shown. They will help you know what to do and where to go. And feeling all of these parts of you settle and sift back where they belong to make you more of who you really are, more whole and complete. Because we just get very scattered when we, when we get hung up on the past. All of that is done, and we are now guided and loved and supported to move forward. And so now I want you to close the door on 2015. You've had your peak, you've had your view, you've been able to observe and bring in the parts of you that needed to be recognized and needed to be loved. You bringing them home back to your heart. <coughs> and now opening the door, there's another door that we we are here, but we're going to go ahead and even make it bigger of an entrance. Make a grand entrance to 2016. I want you to envision how your animal leads you through this door. It seems very strong energy. It seems joyful and happy. It feels determined. It feels focused. Allow them to lead you into this new year. Take a deep breath and breathe in and relax into this place. With all this new energy, with all the new possibilities, 
feeling your feet on the ground where you receive more. This is the very real possibility of what can be coming into your feet and into your legs, into your hips, up your back, up your neck. All of this is about the very real action of this year. <clears throat> the ability to put forth into action what it is that your soul desires, that your heart desires. And your animal friend is here to help you with that. To help you with feeling of satisfaction, the feeling of completing tasks, the feeling of being in the right place at the right time. It's really about breathing in, in all of who you are, being complete, being present, being aware of where you are what you're going to do, having plans, having goals, that all of these are doable and you just take the first step and you have the support of your animal companion, you have the support of your angels, you have the support of your guides, you have the support of God, because they are cheering you on they are lifting you up and elevating you to a place where you understand, where you can see yourself the way you truly are. As beautiful, as kind, as compassionate, as you can be. <coughs> the idea that you can fulfill what you came here to do, whatever it is. You don't have to know. You allow spirit to help you. You allow these private chats you can have with your animal companion as well to give you the advice. Just imagine them sitting with you, being able to ask their opinion. They can, it could be anything. Say, is this person good? This new person that's come along, are they, are they being truthful? They can help you. You will get answers if you ask. Or you get feelings. Or you get awarenesses. It's all within you. And that's what they show me. They see in each and every one of us the perfection of God. The idea that we're able to discern, we're able to understand, that we're able to have compassion and love first and foremost for ourselves, and then we can then offer that to others around us, to the world. That's the other message that the animals have to offer is to start within ourselves. I want you to see them and imagine them when you're in the moment right now, present with them, wherever they stand, sit, or just are with you. Ask them, what would you have me do this year? What advice would you give me? Where might I look for something positive for my life this year? I'm going to give you a little time with that, for that to evolve. Some of them are very up front and forward, and some are very soft. They may just give you a feeling. They may just give you a word. Or they may show you a whole new world of possibilities.
want you to see this 2016 as this beautiful creation unfolding before you. And you don't have to be the one to fix it or know. You have a lot of help. And these beautiful animals that are here, that have either been here in the past for us, or they're here now with us. They're here for each thing that we do. They are our inspiration. And to feel like each and every one of you receive, it feels like each and every one receives a, I feel them touching you. I feel them with a paw on you or the feel of them or the flow of them. I feel that surrounding you. unconditional love for you and they want you to feel that for yourself to love everything about you you are all they need you are their world you are the world and when you offer that love to yourself first you heal yourself and you heal the world as well. There are many things that we are able and capable of doing. So much bigger, so much broader and expansive than we ever could imagine. So whenever you think about this year and what it holds, know that it's even more than what you ever could know important for you as well as important for the involvement of all, the involvement of mankind, of humanity, because animals are here for us in that creation. They are here to help us evolve, to actually understand and receive and be in that unconditional love that they know so well. But have them take a nice deep breath. And feel settling. All these possibilities, feel that settle into your legs, into your body, through your crown, from source, through your arms, going through all of you, all of the unique gifts that you hold, that you're here to bring forth to benefit you and others and feel that energy flow into your feet and into the earth where all of this can take place and be activated yeah. and all the things that may come up that may have come up in this place can think about words and phrases and ideas. Your animal friend may have suggested um, better eating habits or more exercise or whatever. Know that those things are the things that we think of for them and they bring back to us. They return it back to us. So on your list of 2016 things, allow them to help write that list of things. Allow them to bring forth the inspiration where we can actually learn more about how we can be more loving, more grounded, and more centered in love. Just feel your feet on the ground. Feel your toes in your shoes. Feel your fingers and your hands. Move your fingers. Just feel your body coming back into where we're sitting here in this room. Breathing normally, relaxed and at ease. 
and knowing that you now have <coughs> lovely gifts to share with yourself from your animal companion for this year. You can open your eyes when you're ready. Just take a nice deep breath. Exhale and relax. So. I want to thank all of your animal friends, all of those in spirit, all of mine who are here. I felt them going to each and every one of you and greeting you and thanking you for being here. So, thank you. Thank you very much. And I don't know if anybody wants, is okay. And I mean, I'm, I don't know, I'm sure around the time, but um, if anybody has any questions or any ideas, it's great. You can share. And if not, I enjoyed it and it's been a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank you very much.